Here's how I uh, raise Daphnia. Very simple, easy to do method. All you need is a couple of bowls or a couple of buckets, plastic ones, um, some water, uh, old rotting banana skin and the starter culture of Daphnia. Just one bag will do. Just fill the bucket to nearly to the top preferably with rainwater but you can use tap water add the banana skin allow it to rot away and you'll soon have a nice green culture of algae it needs to be in a nice bright place uh, nice and warm so we're going to do this outside you can cultivate it during the summer months once it becomes nice and green you can then add your starter culture of Daphnia. There's my bucket of Daphnia now. This has been set up a number of weeks. Um, I've culled Daphnia quite regular. But as you can see there's plenty in there now. And uh, could be cultivated culled again. But they all breed very easily there and you can feed Daphnia to both freshwater and saltwater fish in fact I only keep uh, coral reef fish and corals both corals and coral reef fish will eat Daphnia with gusto no problem at all uh, very nutritious providing you get plenty of uh, algae in them very safe to do so and uh, my fish absolutely love them when they're ready to be cultivated all you need to do is scoot them out with a plastic sieve. I've got quite a large plastic sieve here that I use. You can see that. I simply dip in, swish it around a few times, like that, like so. And you can see there enough Daphnia for the feeding. Just put them back. So I cultivated, I culled them only yesterday, so I might leave them a little longer to uh, to breed. There's plenty of very small ones in there I could see at the moment, probably can't pick it up on the camera. Bigger ones you can see. I'll just leave that for a day or two more. Once the water gets pretty clear, you can simply add more green water from the other tub keep them well fed and keep them breeding and you'll soon have a bucket full of team in Daphnia.